Hi everybody, it's the Intuitive Healer and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So let's go ahead and tune your energy, Sagittarius. All right, for those of you stopping by for the very first time, welcome to my channel. And for those of you already part of the Intuitive Healer Tarot family, well, welcome back, my lovelies. Um, you guys, don't forget to watch till the end of the video. There's a lot of juicy nuggets in this video that I think will really, really speak to a lot of you viewers out there. And if you guys haven't already, make sure before you leave to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when my new videos come up. And I am available for personal readings at this time, so all my information is down there in that description box below on how to do that. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get into some cards here. We have our Storm Warning number 10 card, and that card really talks about obstacles. It talks about things, you know, jumping into the path. And, you know, I think at this time that there is a lot of energy surrounding you doing things with ease and grace. I think that you're seeing things clearly and that you are seeing the path of least resistance. And I think that you're actually starting to take that. So let's go ahead and get into some cards here and see what pops up. Ascended Masters, Angels and Guides, those who have crossed over, please guide us to the highest and best messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Please and thank you. All right, so we have a bunch that already popped out here. And I'm going to start first with the Garden and the Gate. Now, the Garden and the Gate is this whole idea around the future. And I think, you know, because of this storm warning card that comes in, it's really talking about a better future. You know, it's walking around those obstacles. It's getting around those ideal systems that aren't serving you to a place where things are serving you, where there is opportunity, where there is prosperity and abundance. All right. I think in the past there was a lot of indecision as to what direction to head. You're kind of in that state right now, but know that that shaky ground is really going to enlighten you to make those clear decisions and not be so indecisive. All right. Our next card out is hostilities. This is some old energy from the past that needs clearing up. Maybe if you were in a situation with somebody that you felt like you were going through major storms and there was a lot of fighting and hostility, well, all of that stuff is being put to rest now because you've decided to get past all that stuff and start to find a new direction. Now, applying action towards your life, you know, really moving forward in different aspects of your life and, and really applying action where action needs uh, being placed and so Sagittarius there's a lot of really great things that are popping up here but you know you do have to be open to the possibilities of things now there is a lot of community you know I feel like you're coming uh, together with a group of people where you guys are going to be planning um, a lot of very service oriented acts you know maybe helping the community in some way maybe devoting your time maybe you know helping out with different projects so i do see a lot of that being community based now there is this idea around um i would say love there is this idea around love we have our fourth chakra um, which is in the heart space with Archangel Raphael. And, you know, the fourth chakra really, um, you know, it talks about this idea around um, love and compassion and self-acceptance. And so this is a very loving, loving card. And I think that you're moving into a place where you are loving yourself more. You are 
identifying the things that you need to do, the things that serve you more. And for that reason, it just kind of opens up the door for a new situation in love where there's going to be somebody that's really going to have some care and concern for you. And this is a high integrity individual. So for those of you that are male, female, cross watcher, whoever's tuning in at this time, you know, love is coming in to illuminate the places of the darkness within you to create you know a lot more abundance we've got love coming in here now we have a woman holding a coin um, these readings aren't gender specific so this could be male female like i said cross watchers who's ever tuning in this, these messages are for you and these messages are going to really help you get to the next level of your life now there is this emotion that comes in with our third chakra and archangel chamiel about these emotions of desire this is your life force energy um, this is an ability for you to you know center yourself at this time um, there's a lot of moving forward towards completing some of your desires um, there also is this ability for you to harness your power within and start focusing on things that are more purposeful and what i mean by that is more intentional because we do have a lot of abundance coming in here we have the woman with the coin and then we also have this blossoming abundance so for those of you that are wondering about the career detail here well i think that you guys are going to be changing careers altogether. i think the reason why the storm chaser here is all about the obstacles of that past job or that past love and now you're walking around those obstacles with ease and grace and you're getting out of that toxic energy into a more beautiful more defined space all right let's get into some other cards here and get a little bit more depth into this reading all right ascended masters angels and guides please clarify those cards please and thank you yeah i think when we have been in a place where there's been some toxic turmoil and we start feeling like we deserve something better something better comes in and that better stuff is really more in alignment with our higher self with our higher truth and so we get the ability to really experience joy and happiness at a completely different level and so i'm glad that you have the store morning because this is that idea around ease and grace and really coming together with some pretty amazing things now you have been planting seeds for this new life so seeds of grace are being planted in the fertile soil of your soul so really illuminating yourself really getting to the point of what is it that you want planting those seeds so that something can grow and then after that it's that taking it action towards that better life it says i enthusiastically embrace a life's boundless possibilities yeah, and I and that's why I'm saying you're walking around the obstacles. You they're not even, you know, holding you back at this time. There was just this major awareness that was gained that kind of opened you up to the idea that hey, I can have a better life. I can have joy and happiness and I don't have to be in sadness. I don't have to, you know, be in you know, strife. It says simplifying your life. I cherish the simple pleasures of life. So this is you decluttering, you taking out all of the toxic and bringing in the positive. Right, Sagittarius? I think that's the best way for you to go. And for you fire signs, you know, sometimes things get hot and heavy. And, you know, that hostility card, there could have been a lot of fighting and a lot of uneasiness in the past. And you're like, you know, I'm really done with that. I, I'm good. I think I'm just going to keep walking forward and find my happiness and create my own happiness. I think that's really the key here, right? All right. So let's get a little bit more clarification here. All right. Soaring into joy. So that's you finding your joy. It's that childlike wonder that fills your life. So bringing in that happiness. You know, it's also you revealing your radiance. You shining your light and illuminating the world 
with your goodness. And I think part of this is that community endeavor that's, you know, volunteering, making a difference in other people's lives so you can make a difference in your own life and see the light. It says, my inner light shines far and wide. Like I said, really, really cultivating a lot of prosperity at this time. The abundance of the universe is pouring into my life. So there you go. All right, let's get into some manifestation cards here and, and go a little bit deeper. Ah, I tell you, Sagittarius, you know, it seems like when we go through these obstacles in life, you know, we're, we're scared. It's almost like I got through it. Yay. Hopefully there's no more obstacles behind that one. And I'm going to tell you, even if there is, you're going to go through this ease, easy and gracefully. Fall in love whenever you are ready, not when you're lonely. So this is you finding self-love, you being confident in your ability to see a better life for yourself and moving towards that life. Because there are lots of positive aspects coming into the reading that's going to spell a lot of abundance and love for you. So find your way to that path. And where does the power come from? It comes from within. It comes from within you. You're the one that delegates your happiness. It's really not up to somebody else to decide that happiness for you. It's all about you. So souls that belong to each other will always find their way back together. I am see sensing that this union coming in with love um, is going to be a past life relationship. It's going to probably go very slow moving at first, but it will pick up over time as the trust uh, begins to illuminate. So as we sit in a more positive space, positive stuff comes in because like attracts like, right? When you're, you're feeling uh, happy and life is good, uh, you're attracting what you're feeling, right? Never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. So there you go. Don't get all gyrated in your feelings. Just go with the flow. It says, when you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm, no anxiety, and no agitation. Woo, that's really good. All right, let's get into some tarot here. All right, Ascended Masters, Angels, and Guides, please guide me the highest and best messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Woo. Please and thank you. All right, our first card out is our Two of Pentacles. Let me pull some other cards here and then we'll get into the spread. Um, you know, I, I think the other thing is just being delight, delighted by your own essence, being delighted by the things that are coming in to support your desires, to support, you know, to, to grow the seeds of prosperity for you. And I think it's about time. There is a lot of things that, ooh, we got a love card and a chariot card. All right, let's get into this one. So we have the two of pentacles. And the two of pentacles is, I would say, this idea around um, personal strengths and, and weaknesses. You know, this is the principles of pleasures. Um, that you allow yourself to have you know this is you being in a sea of change and really shifting your life focus so that you can find your value system now there could be times where you're feeling a little insecure and you're kind of going through this transformation to find you know that security that is there for you King of Swords uh, really denotes a lot more energy I would say in regards to really kind of leveling up, you know, um, the King of Swords really has this emphasis on our sovereignty, you know, our masculine attributes. It's also this conscious affirmation of having more love, humor, and joy, and being able to vision your heart's desire. So again, this is in relation to your storm warning card. Now we do have our Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is a little bit different in the sense that, you know, I think that the future looks a lot different. You know, um, I think that it is really good for us to be in a place of power where we can have some vitality and some growth 
Um, we also can go through some change because the Ace of Wands is all about change and really remaining true to your feelings, remaining true to yourself. So Six of Wands also puts us in a place of, I would say, celebration. You know, the Six of Wands is all about you know, receiving support from others, you know, celebrating success with others. And so major, major success here with the Six of Wands. We also do have our Two of Cups. Two of Cups is this beautiful, lovely union that's coming in. I think it's because of the storm from the past, you get to go into these magical waters of love and really start to see that you deserve that joy and happiness and love for yourself. Now the chariot card brings in its own personality, um, which is formed through you know our conscious efforts, which drives our conscious efforts. It also represents the mysteries of life, you know, the unknown. Um, this is a good card to kind of get some fresh air on a relationship as well. So that's this freshness that's starting to happen where, you know, you do get to have that ideal person of high integrity. All right, you guys. So if you want to go a little bit deeper, book a reading with me. All my information is down there in that description box below on how to do that. And make sure you put your name in the comment box so you'll be entered in my drawings. Also, check out my sound collaborations. Um, I will be having sound healings and things like that in my playlist. I love you, Sagittarius. I hope you're well, and I can't wait to see what's on the other side of those obstacles that you're walking around. Namaste.